My name is David Sutton. I'm a Faculty of Science PhD student at QUT. My research has been involved in laser-driven chemistry. So I do photocatalytic chemical reactions, which basically just means I use light as a catalyst. And the reason I use a laser is because we want a precision target exactly where we want a chemical reaction to happen. And what that lets us do is actually make micro-manufacturing technologies out of this approach that just use light and then a little bit of a chemical to actually create microstructures out of gold. So my internship project involved working with the Queensland Defence Science Alliance, which is basically a group that combines the different universities in Queensland and then targets research towards defence capabilities and projects. So my project in particular looked at extending the functionality of an existing detection prototype that we have, which we use for detecting all sorts of different things in the field. My job was basically to try and give it new functionality by allowing it to work in multiple orientations and configurations. So the everyday duties involved doing a lot of experimental work basically under many different conditions. So there was a lot of just moving things around the lab to try and detect it in all sorts of weird places and just to see what the limits of our ability to detect these different samples were. Um, and then on other days, I would be analyzing all that data. And as a result of me and my fellow colleagues who also received this internship, um, they actually plan to have a big kind of uh, symposium where we all get together and do a presentation on our internships and, and how we all went, and just to show kind of the quality of the science that's going on here in Queensland. I think that there's a lot that's come out of this project, both for me and for the QDSA. Personally, I think I've been able to see that I am maybe a little bit more capable than I give myself credit for sometimes. So when you get thrown into a new project after working on something different, you tend to think that you're only good at one thing, but actually your skills are really broadly applicable and applying my new, my gained skills to a new project was really um, eye-opening in a lot of ways um, and kind of made me feel a lot better about my own capabilities that I've developed throughout my PhD. And I think everyone should have a go at it just because it gives you contacts, it gives you opportunities that you wouldn't have gotten otherwise and you meet new people which is always really really cool. For me just gaining a little bit of that industry insight was really really useful. Most people know there's two main paths after a PhD, academia or industry and it was nice to get a little taste of that other side of, of the potential opportunities to see kind of what would be waiting there if you chose to pursue the industry path. I enjoyed the aspect of kind of prototyping and the, the quicker back and forth that tends to be involved in industry. Having done this project, I'm, I'm really looking more strongly at an industry pathway kind of after I finish my PhD and I end up going out into the workforce. So I'm really excited for that, which is pretty cool.